Lucy, lots of us get stuck into here. Let's, let's focus on the elderly initially. Why would they not be able to leave hospital? Look, just forgive me for playing devil's advocate here, but, like, can't their son or daughter come and pick them up, you know? Well, um, they're not able to leave hospital because they have, uh, most of them, a lot of them are very unwell. They've either got dementia or they're disabled. Um, they don't have a package of care that's safe for them to go to in the community. And this is not just a problem that's happening now. Up to a third of patients in hospital are fit for discharge, but they can't leave because there's nowhere for them to go that's deemed safe. Um, and that's actually risen uh, over the past year or so uh, by about 60%. So the problem has become even worse. Um, and it's just, just sorry, very... just to explain that to me again. Sorry, Lucy, but as, as you know by now, I'm a bit thick and I need things explained to me a few times. So did I hear you right there that a third of patients in hospitals could go, but they haven't got anywhere to go? That seems like it's like the old NHS is like a care home. Well, it's up to a third in certain hospitals. Um, so some hospitals have less, some more, but that's the sort of top figure. And yes, it is tens of thousands of patients and it has got worse. And, there, you know, it, the, the staying in hospital is actually really detrimental to an older person. We know that you lose about 5% of body muscle, of muscle for every day you spend immobile. Hospitals obviously aren't places for rehab. They're places where you either sit next to your bed or lie in your bed. Your heart is, is affected. Your lungs are affected. The whole body is affected. You're more at risk from infections. You're less likely to ever be independent again if you were independent in the first place. Exactly.